Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to Luminar Coffee Break. I'm Angela Andrew and today we're going to be talking about how to brighten up a dark photo. So we always strive to get our photos correct in camera but sometimes some things don't go quite right and you end up you know maybe you didn't check your settings after a previous shoot or perhaps the camera metered off of the wrong thing. Regardless of the reason, sometimes those photos come out a bit too dark and we wanna look at ways that we can brighten them up, bring out those details in the shadows. Today I'm gonna to show you a few techniques on a, a, an image from one of our, um, actually from one of our executives of a really cool cityscape and show you how I fixed it. So let me go ahead and switch over here to Luminar. And I've got this photo here up on the screen. Let me go ahead and make that bigger. All right, so let me show you the original. Let me get that to load up here just a second. There we go. You can see that the original is very dark and we also have some, some perspective issues. So what we're gonna do is brighten up those shadows, fix those perspective issues, and turn what would have otherwise been a throwaway photo into something that is at the very least a good memory shot, if not something artistic and fun. So if you have any comments, questions, please make sure you put them into the comments box and I'll be sure to check those as I go along. All right, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna pop over to my edit and go down to my history and switch back to the original so I can walk you through the entire edit. We'll start in templates. And I perused through a bunch of these templates here to see which one fit the image best. And most of the time I stay up here in the For This Photo section. And I'm gonna go ahead and just move over here to Big City, Big City Lights. And I chose this one called City Thrills. And I think it, it, it was a really good match for the tones of the image. It brought out a little bit of drama. It opened with the shadows a bit, but we still have more work to do, but it's a good starting point. So let's go ahead and take a look at that before. In the after. All right, there we go. So now let's go over to the edit tab and let's work on some of these perspective issues. I'm going to start in essentials and go to composition AI. And the first thing I'm going to do is click this upright perspective tool. And you'll see that immediately straightens out our buildings and makes things a lot better. Now you'll notice there's still a little bit of pincushion distortion. So I'm going to go over to the pro tools and go to my optics. And I'm going to choose my auto distortion correction and you'll see that just straighten things out a little bit more and for good measure we'll remove our chromatic aberrations. Now we can go back over to essentials and let's refine our crop a little bit. We can go ahead and give composition AI a chance to see what it suggests and I feel like it cuts off a little bit too much of the foreground here. I like those leading lines into the city so I'm going to go ahead and move that down right about there. It takes off this guy here in the corner, which he's a little bit of a distraction and really just leads us right into the city. So I'll go ahead and hit return on my keyboard to commit that crop. Now let's play a little bit. I still feel like the image is a little bit too dark. So what I want to do is go to my enhance AI and let's pull that up quite a bit. And that immediately makes the city come to life a little bit more, brings out more detail, adds some contrast, made some of the colors pop really nice. I also want to pull up my sky enhancer a little bit more because we've got some really good detail here in the sky and even a little bit of color here along the edges and that makes a big difference. So let's see what Enhance AI did. We can turn that off and back on again. That's a huge difference. I think it really, really helps. Now one last thing I want to do here is I still feel like it's a little bit dark. So I'm going to go up here to my light tool and let's just ever so slightly increase that overall exposure. Now, I like what this is doing to the city, but I feel like it's brightening up our clouds a little too much, so I might also pull our highlights back down to bring that detail back in those areas. All right, well, there you have it. That's a really quick and easy way to bring up the shadows in an image. So if you end up with a photo that's a little too dark, you can always lighten it up very easily. First, try a template. That'll probably get you most of the way there. You can also use your Enhance AI. And if all of this fails, pop here into the light tool and pull up that exposure. I kind of save that for a last resort because it's a very heavy handed tool and it affects every pixel in the image. So just make sure that you're using that with a lighter touch and give you know the Enhance AI a try before you move into the light tool. Um, in looking at this image, I might also wanna work a little bit with the white balance. To me, it seems a little bit blue right now, and it does fit the mood. It's kind of a kind of a moody day, a moody sky. We can always move that a little bit to the right. And you know what? I'm not liking that at all. It makes it look kind of smoggy. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command Z on my keyboard. 
um, Control Z if you're on Windows, and take that off of there. So there you have it. If you guys like this episode, make sure you click thumbs up on the video, and that'll let us know that you want us to keep doing these videos and sharing tutorials and answering questions. Um, if there's no questions for me today, I want to wish you a wonderful afternoon and get out there, make some pictures and have some fun. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.